All right, you guys. Um, it's you the black Barbie. And um, I'm in a good mood. I just had some food I ate. But let's get into this video. This is going to be a hygiene routine, highly requested video. So... So, um, before we get into it, into it, I'm gonna just go ahead and say that I don't have an editor yet. I'm still editing things by myself, so I'm not sure if I wanted to do a voiceover because I'm gonna take a shower and stuff like that, and obviously I'm not gonna record in there. But I wanna show you guys all the products that I use when I'm in the shower, all my favorite things, and I'll go over like a voiceover, I'll try to do one, and explain what I use for, you know, her down there. But let me show you guys all the soapy products that I use. Okay, so um, what I like to do first when I clean my face, I use this soap. This is goat's milk soap. You can get it from, I tagged it in my last video where I used it. I'll have to look for it again. I think the site is called like greenherbs.com or something. I'm going to wash my face and my body first with this goat's milk soap. I have two. One is in the shower. One is over here for my face. And after that, I'm going to go in and these are the products that I'm using. This is my body wash. I got this from Bath & Body Works. It's um, shea butter and cocoa butter. This is just good. It's a moisturizing one too. It's good for your skin. This is my kitty wash and it's a gel. It's a clear gel. I got this from Walmart. And then when I'm done, I like to spray myself down there with this. This is just a scented. This smells like white jasmine i always get the pink one but i tried a different scent and it'll have you smelling like a rainbow so i'm gonna go ahead and wash my face hop in the shower use this then this and then this last and then i'll come back and go over the things that my perfume and lotion and body oils and all that So I just finished my shower and the bathroom is completely steamy. <laughs> the last thing I'm gonna use before I put my clothes on will be this. And I got this from Walmart. No wait, I lied. This came from Amazon in a three pack. Yeah, I'm gonna spray it on my cooter. Okay, we are back. I'm out the shower. I'm trying to make this as simple as possible just because I think a simple routine is the best way. So after the shower, and my face looks mad dry right now, but I got no moisturizer and all that. After the shower, I like to go in with my clear pore cleanser. I'm gonna rub this on my face. I also have my piercings, so I want to clean all of them with this. I have how many piercings? I have seven piercings. I used to have eight. I had a third hole on this one. I had to take it out. I clean everything using cotton balls. These are my favorite things to use. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and use the clear pour, clear pour oil eliminating astringent, and I got to I got this from CVS, I think. I'm gonna go ahead and use this first. And basically, I'm just going over where I get where I have most of my pore area, forehead, chin, cheeks. And over here I have scars from acne from like high school, but this helps with hyperpigmentation. From nose, all that. See, I just cleaned my face in the shower and I don't know, it's kind of dirty, so yeah. Now I'm gonna clearing my ear piercings and I left the third one in because that one is still, I mean, it's healed, but I'm still just playing it safe because I had to take the one out on this because I took it out too early. And the whole closed up. I'm just cleaning the front, cleaning the back.
And I also have my cha-cha spears, so I'm gonna clean that off camera. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Q-tips now. They say it's best to clean your ears like every two to three days, but I honestly do it like every day because, um, what's it called? Your ears get dirty really fast. I'm gonna use the same pore one just because I like to get the outer part first. Your ear is like a very closed area, so there's like dirt holding in a lot of areas, you know? Then I'll go ahead and wet the tip with water. And then always wet it with water. Although I know there's a better way to clean your ears, but this is how I do it because this is, you know, I think everyone uses Q-tips, but whatever. I'm only using the pore for like the, not inside my ear, just the outer part. Then I'm going to put my piercings, I'll put my earrings back in. We're gonna moisturize my face and then we'll get to the body. Okay, earrings are in. Now we're moisturizing. These are my two favorite key products for moisturizing. It's just the basic moisturizer. This one came from Hope Philosophy on Instagram, but any moisturizer is good. And I'm only gonna put cheek, cheek, forehead, forehead, chin, and nose. And I'll put a drop on the same areas that I just put it on. Cheek, cheek, forehead, chin, and nose. Then you just rub everything in. And before I rub everything in, I'm just gonna clean my fingertips with the clear moisturizer thing. It's very strong, so I use it for a lot. It goes a long way. Then we can rub it in. Tea tree oil I got from Amazon. That also helps with hyperpigmentation and I put it on before I go to sleep. Maybe I'll have a nighttime routine after this video. We are glowing. Now we can finally get to the body. Okay, before I start with all the scented stuff, look at the sun. I am glowing. Before I start with all the scented stuff, I wanted to go off, show this. I have a box of everyday liners. This just helps protect, you know, because anything can throw your pH off. If I'm not wearing like a thin underwear or something, I always have one of these on. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. All right, so. Anyway, okay, this is the lotion that I will be using today. This is a Thousand Wishes. I love buying lotion from Bath & Body Works. These were the last three that I got. And this one's about to finish. It was so good, I'll have to get another one. But Thousand Wishes is really good and Champagne Toast. Actually, I was going to use the Thousand Wishes, but we're going to go ahead and use the Bare Untamed Vanilla. And for deodorant, I'm using Secret basic you know i bought a whole bunch of these oil perfumes they are the best thing in the world they last longer 
than actual perfume, but I still use both. You can get these from, I got some of them in the mall, and I got some of them from the hair store, my local beauty supply store. We're gonna use black opium today. So I'm gonna go ahead, lotion my whole body, put on my deodorant, and I have another lotion for my tattoo, so they can just help keep the ink in. I'll be back. Okay, I just put on the lotion, and for this, I like to put it on my wrist, and then I'll rub it on the other one, I'll also put it in the crack, rub it on the other one, it kind of looked weird, but I'll also put it on the back of my neck, and then I'll put some behind my ears, but I like to put it on my finger and then rub it. Also put it on the back of my legs like right behind my knees and the back of my ankle and I'll just like cross one foot over rub it on the front and I'll do the same thing with the knees <laughs> now that that's done I'm smelling like a hot donut we are going to go ahead and do the last touch, which is my perfume. Okay, so currently these are my new favorite perfumes. And specifically, this one, Gorman White Flower and Amber Vanilla. These came from Dossier, and I will put their handles down below. And those two have been my top two most used lately, especially the Ambery Vanilla. I'm gonna go ahead and put this one on. This is the Ambery Vanilla. And once again, I said they smell so amazing. This is the box it came from Dossier, like I said. I went ahead and just put it in so you can see what it looks like. It's so pretty. I'm obsessed with the Ambery Vanilla one, so I'm just going to spray this. You don't need a lot, so I just spray it in a couple places and then I'll just wrap it everywhere. I'll do once on my shirt. And the thing that I like about this is they have a magnetic top, so it just fixes by itself. All right, you guys, and for my hygiene routine, that is it. For today's outfit, we just have a casual gray dress that I got from Mad Rag, super cute. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know whatever else you want to see in the comments below. I think I said where I got everything from. I'll, pat, I'll try to put in the description and list out all the products, all the ones I used before in the shower, my face care products, and then all the lotions and perfumes, oil perfumes, stuff like that. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think. And um, give me tips on better recording and like how to better editing apps because I'm not editing myself right now. I'm still looking for an editor, but if I can do it and just learn how to get better, I think I can manage. So help me out with that. And I'll see you until next time.